Hello world, this tutorial is for dual booting Fedora Linux along with your Windows 10 installation. First, we need to download the Fedora Workstation ISO image from the official website. Link is given in description. Next, go to etcher.io and download the Bailna Etcher software for writing the ISO image to a USB drive. Once the ISO image is flashed, reboot your PC and boot into BIOS menu. BIOS menu can be accessed by pressing Delete, F12 or F2 button on the boot screen. Once in the BIOS, open the Boot Manager menu and ensure that the bootable USB device we created is the first entry. If not, move the entry to the top of boot order by pressing up arrow, or F5, or F6. Save the settings and reboot your PC. This will load up the Fedora Linux Live Media image. Go ahead and start Fedora Linux installation. Select Install to Drive option. This is our installer program that will help us to install Fedora Linux to system drive. Select your language and time zone. Next step is to prepare our disk for installing Fedora Linux. If you have Windows already installed, this will have multiple partitions. Select Advanced Custom GUI Based Storage Configuration. If this is a new laptop or you want to clean install, set the partition table to GPT. Remember that changing the partition table will erase the complete PC storage. If you want to dual boot along with Windows 10, ignore the previous step. Add new partition. Select volume size. It's advisable to set a minimum of 20 GB for your root partition. Root partition is where all your Fedora Linux OS files go. The file system can be ext4 or butterfs. You can give any name for label. This is basically an identifier for user. Mount point must be given as forward slash. This represents root directory in Linux. Encryption is an optional configuration. If you encrypt your hard disk, you must enter the given password on every boot up. Next required partition is an EFI partition. This is required for booting up Fedora and also for displaying the Windows 10 boot option. Set at least 500 MB with file system as EFI and mount point as forward slash boot forward slash EFI. The last partition we need is a swap partition. This is optional, but you can give half your RAM size as swap. In addition to these, you can separate your home partition as well if you want. This is where all your user data is stored. Having a separate home partition will let you preserve data even if your Fedora installation is deleted. Installation might take some time to complete. Once it's done, go ahead and reboot your PC. On the boot screen next time, you will have an option to select Fedora Linux or Windows 10. On booting up Fedora Linux for the first time, we'll open up a one-time user setup prompt. Fill in your username and password to start using Fedora. You can keep your Fedora Linux installation updated by opening a terminal and typing sudo dnf update hyphen y. That's it. Ufedora Workstation is ready for use. Thank you for watching.